Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a haul. It's mostly like drugstore, mostly like Walmart stuff, and then there are some high-end things. So I'm going to start off with skin, the skincare stuff I got first. So first I got these things and they are used when you are, you are washing your face. They're called little scrubbies and I wasn't sure I'd like them just because they, they're very, they feel really strange, but they actually, like if I use a makeup wipe and take off all my makeup if i use these if there's any makeup left on my skin it comes off and you can like you can see it on these because it takes the rest of it off so these are actually these are like i want to say like two or three dollars at walmart they're definitely something to look for so on the keep going on the skincare route i got the simple moisturizing face wash and I mean, I had the micellar water for a while, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to try other simple stuff. And I tried this, and I really like it. It's actually really helped my skin. Like, the face wash in combination with the toner and everything, this has really helped my skin. So I would definitely recommend it to you if you haven't tried it. So next I have the simple soothing toner. And... Like I said, in conjunction with the face wash, this stuff really has helped my skin. That, so I was going to get the simple moisturizer, but the Walmart I went to down by my college was out. So I got the Equate Dual Power Moisturizer. And this is actually a really, really nice moisturizer. Like I've used a simple one before and it's really, honestly, it's really comparable. I mean, it's not as silky as the simple one, but it's still, it's really good. Especially since it's only like, three, I think it was like $3. So this is a really good moisturizer if you're looking for a cheap moisturizer. And the final thing in my skincare that I got was a charcoal and black sugar face scrub. It's by the brand Freeman. And I had their cucumber peel off mask too, and I really liked it. And so this was the other one that they had. They had this one and they also have this one, the cucumber, and like the oatmeal one. And I didn't really want the oatmeal one. Just because I just feel like that would feel strange. I mean, I would probably try it at some point. But at this point, I didn't want that one. So I got the charcoal and black sugar scrub. And I really, really like this. This really helps get, get off the dead skin that's on my face. It's really, honestly left my face really, really smooth. Now, moving on to makeup, um, we'll just start and kind of go in like order of how you put on your face, kind of. So the first thing I got was the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. This is in 850 Partners and Prime. Um, I, this is what I'm using right now on my face, and I like it. Just not. I don't think I like it with this foundation because this isn't quite moisturizing enough that this foundation honestly looks really cakey on my face but it doesn't if I use more silicone based primers so I like this with like the e.l.f. flawless skin foundation just because that's not like a matte foundation but the one I'm wearing is a matte foundation and this is not good with matte ones but it is good with things that are not matte so especially if you have like a really really dewy foundation that you don't want it to look as dewy. I think this would actually really help with that. So this was I think like four or five dollars. And it's not it's okay. It's not my favorite, but so the next foundation, like I was talking about wearing a matte foundation, and I like it with a silicone based primer. And it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is in the shade 112 Natural Ivory, just because I'm very very pale but um, I really like like I said I like this with a silicone based primer but with non silicone primer it's, it looks super cakey like you can tell around my nose right now that this foundation is very very cakey and like around my eyes yeah I'm aware it looks cakey I know so we'll just since I use this for this found for foundation, I'll just go ahead and talk about it now. I, this is the Elf Small Stipple Brush. 
and this is how I put on this foundation and I'm thinking maybe next time I'm thinking maybe next time instead of using this if I'm going to use this primer is to maybe try I have the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and maybe see if that helps it not look so flaky if I do use this primer well if it does I'll let you guys know so so next we'll go move on to um, bronzers because I guess that's where we go next. Um, I have two of the Wet n Wild Color Icon bronzers. I own, I have Ticket to Brazil and Reserve Your Cabana. I really like this because of the bronzer I'm wearing now, and it's a really nice warm glowy bronzer. But this, I bought these both because Kathleen Lights really likes these. And since she's really proud, she said she really likes this one, so I figured I would really like it. But I don't know how I feel about it, because honestly, it looks more, like, it, I can't use it on a bronzer, it looks more like a highlight for me. And it's not really that shimmery, so I don't, because I, I don't know if I'm going to, like, I mean, it looks really nice as a highlight, but I just don't know with my skin tone that I'm really gonna like this one but I honestly I really love Ticket to Brazil so, so we move on to eyes next so I got this LA Colors pencil eyeliner and it has a really nice black color but it's not very uh creamy so then it's kind of rough if I try to use it on like my waterline or anything so it's kind of a depending upon where I use it like if I use it on my upper lash line it's really like it's really nice if I use it like on my actual my eyelid but if I try to use it on my waterline it's a little a little rough um so then I got two different mascaras which is what I don't have to describe it in the so I can save it so that way I don't have the worst mascaras I can save because I have like five different ones I can save and then I don't really want to do that because then I don't even have to dry out some of the cheeky mascara that I'm going to have to try eventually. And I'll do uh, what you guys know at this point. I haven't actually tried this one. This, on the other hand, is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume. And that's the one I'm wearing right now. And as you can see, I mean, it's, it gives my eyelashes quite a bit of volume. But it doesn't give me the black color on my eyelashes that I like. I think I had this e.l.f. volumizing one. And it had a lot of, like, black color. And I really liked it. This one, I mean, it's good for every day, but it's not it's not the best. Okay, so then I got four different lipsticks. Three are wet and wild, one is LA Color. Now, I'm going to start with LA Color first. So, this is their LA Color Super Frozen Berry. And the, fir the first thing that I noticed here, it's very, very patchy. It's like super, very patchy. Then, it sticks itself uh, almost like Play-Doh and cleaner next together. And so, and I have some other LA Colors, like liquid lipstick, and it smells weird. But I didn't think I forgot about how it's not brand new on there. And so, I picked this up, and I can honestly just put it on the storage, but it's too so I don't want to use any dollars when I use. So I got that. I opened this up, and I swatched it, and I was like, what is that? And then I opened all the smells, like, I didn't even know that wild ones didn't smell like that, because I had one. So, I smelled this one, and I was like, oh, this is disgusting. And so, you know, if the smell of your lipsticks don't bother you, you might need to get on, because it's really, really patchy. But I honestly don't see it, so even as much as I have to get on. So now I got three wet and mild lipsticks. I got two of the, the normal ones, and I got one of the Mega Last, which is the Mega Last one, so what I'm wearing right now. And I really like it, because it honestly dries. It looks and feels matte, but it does transfer a little bit if you touch it, like. But it, and like, so if you drink something, it'll transfer a little bit. But it's, it looks and feels matte. And then, so I have the other two, and I have one in What's Up Doc, and the other one is in Dark Pink Frost. What's Up Doc is almost like a, like, it's like an orangey coral color. And I didn't think I'd like it just because I have red hair. But it actually, it looks really, it actually looks really good. I didn't think it would. But I really actually really do like it. I haven't really worn it out, but I've obviously tested them all on my lips just because I wanted to see if it's something that I like or don't like. And that one I actually really do like. And the other one I got is in Dark Pink Frost. And it is a very like sheer 
pinky sparkly color. And it's good for those days when you want to wear something on your lips. But if you don't like the feel of like lip gloss type stuff, like you want like a sheer color but not like a lip gloss, this would be a good this would be good for you. I mean, these two are 93 cents a piece. And this one's like a dollar ninety-three, I think. So I mean these are honestly very, very affordable lipsticks. So if you want to get into wearing lipsticks, but you don't want to like buy, you know, expensive lipsticks, because I mean there are lipsticks at the drugstore that are like seven dollars a piece, and to me, unless I know that I like that formula of lipstick, I would not want to pay seven dollars a piece for lipstick. Well, now we're gonna move on to the high-end things that I got and since this was stuff I got with my birthday money um, I got the Sephora birthday present and I got the Marc Jacobs one so I got the you know the Marc Jacobs eyeliner and the lipstick and this eyeliner a very very black eyeliner honestly I mean this is more black than this one and this one's pretty black and I really really like black eyeliners so and this one's actually really nice on the waterline because it's not rough. It's really, really creamy. And then the lipstick is one of their matte lip creams and it's in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. It's actually, it's a very, very pretty color. It's actually pretty similar to what the one I'm wearing right now on my lips. But this one's more of a pinky and this one's more of a red. But it's a very, like, I've worn it out, and it's a really, really nice lip color. I actually got complimented on it. So, and I mean, that's one of the high-end things. So, if you're looking for things like that, I mean, that's a really nice, really nice lipstick and really nice eyeliner. So, and if you're going to get the birthday gift, if you don't want the fresh, like, face stuff, then, I mean, I would definitely go for that. And so, the last thing I got was the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons Palette. And I was actually, when I went, I was going to pick up the chocolate bar one. Well, I thought I did. Then when I got back to my dorm room, I realized I had picked up this one. So, originally what I was going to do was I was going to go and take it back. But then I started watching, like, YouTube videos on which one's better, which one, which one, should you wear if you have this color hair and all that kind of stuff and I started looking at looks with this and I realized how much I really actually really like this one because the other one ha I mean I really like I like brown eyeshadows don't get me wrong because I mean they look good with you know my hair color but at the same time I didn't want a whole palette of majority brown eyeshadows. I mean, yeah, this has a lot of browns, but it also has, like, nice pinks and purples and everything. And so, you know, I kept this one, and I started playing with it, and I ended up really, really liking it, so I didn't take it back. And I think if I get enough money at Christmas time, I might go and buy the regular chocolate bar, but I'm definitely keeping this one. And like I really like the shades um I really like Bordeaux which is a really nice like matte brown color um and I also really like uh, molasses chip which is a very nice like goldy uh shimmery color and I'm not gonna lie I told <laughs> I just totally fetch. Oh, wrong. I mean, yeah, it's a little patchy, but if you blend it out, it really works. Like, I really like these colors. And then Almond Truffle is normally the color I start out with on my, uh, on my crease where I first start my looks with this palette. So, honestly, I'm a lot more impressed with this than I thought I would be. So I might go and pick up the regular one, or depending upon if the Sweet Peach one is still in stock, 